All right, this is Nathan with American West Realty, and I'm going to do a quick walkthrough tour of 1610 23rd Street. This is a 360 video, so as I'm moving around or standing in a room, you can swing the camera around uh, left or right, up or down, and get a better idea of what you're looking at. So this front half of the house is currently set up as a one bedroom, two bath. So again, uh, you can swing the camera around and look at it as I'm standing here. This tiled floor has in-floor heat powered by electric. Thermostat is just down the hall there, past the cabinet. Uh, or the entire front half of the house is on a forced air system, natural gas, and it has uh, central AC. You got concrete countertops, nice pass-through bar there into the kitchen. Kitchen includes a refrigerator side by side with water and ice, a dishwasher, and a gas stove. Plenty of storage just behind the <clears throat> behind the oven. We have a pantry, not quite walk-in, but pretty large. Nice skylight. You can see a nice vaulted ceiling. Lots of exposed wood. I love these uh, big steel accents up here. Uh, you can also see steel running across above the uh, countertop as well as the face of the countertop. We've got dining off to the side and what is currently being used as a living room uh, or this could be uh, separated and set up as a second bedroom. Walking back into the hallway, to the left here we have the bedroom. The small walk-in closet, again, some more vaulted ceiling and exposed wood beams, lots of natural light. And the bathroom is a full bath, connects directly to the bedroom. You can see here we have a pocket door uh, or a door, standard door leading out into the hallway. And in the bathroom, we have a jetted tub as well as a steam shower. You can see multiple nozzles there as well as a handheld nozzle. Uh, jetted tub. This bathroom again has tile floor, also has in floor heating, and it's on its own thermostat located up here behind the uh, toilet. So, three separate heating systems, all individually controlled. And then over here we've got this bonus room, which could be uh, an office space could turn it into a large walk-in closet. Whatever your heart desires. And again, just kind of walking through the kitchen. I'll stop here and let you take a look around if you'd like. And continuing back through this front room, takes us into the hallway, which is where the thermostat, the electrical panel is at, as well as a three-quarter bath and washer dryer hooked up. So you've got a sink, toilet, and shower, no tub. It's got a ventilation fan, recessed lighting, and plenty of room for a side-by-side -side or stackable washer dryer. So we are in the back half of the house. This doorway is where we would separate the two living spaces. So if that doorway were closed off, uh, this refrigerator could be kept up where it's at or you could place it over here to the side. It does have water and electric down low so that you can have the uh, refrigerator off to the side and then that cubby could be converted back into a pantry. We also have a large pantry space over here. This has electric in it so it would be a great place to put a freezer, refrigerator, things of that nature. Then we have dining room off here to the side. And then coming back over to the kitchen, just walking through it, <clears throat> excuse me, we have a brand new steel dishwasher that was just installed. We have a brand new stove and oven, natural gas. Nice uh, farm style sink. Plenty of counter space, plenty of storage. I don't even know that a pantry would be needed on a place this size, but you've got the room for it. Okay, over here we have the utility closet. You've got washer dryer hookups here on the left. All your water shutoffs to the right. 
And then these red lines are for the in-floor heating. You can see an on-demand water heater that services only the back unit. And then down here on the floor is where you'd hook up your uh, boiler for the floor heating. And that boiler is brand new. It's out in the garage, just needs to be installed. It's about a $4,000 unit. The back unit has its own electricity separate from the front unit. Everything is metered separate. Up here we have a brand new freestanding stove. We've got brand new tile throughout. It's a beautiful tile floor. Then we have a three quarter bath back here. This large tiled walk in shower has steam controls, has multiple shower heads to include a rain shower head and a handheld. Nice glass door. And then, of course, your toilet and vanity over here. This trap door down low takes you to the crawl space. But the only things down there are the furnace and water heater for the front unit, which I'll show you separately. Okay, then going up to the upstairs, currently set up as a bedroom. You can see it's pretty large space, probably 15 by 18 or something. <clears throat> We've got a walk-in closet. Sorry that my hands are shaky holding the camera. Lots of natural light. And then we have a three-quarter bath, another pocket door for privacy. Very modern look and feel. Then outside uh, is the patio or deck, I guess you'd call it. Nice wide door, that's about a four foot wide door. And a nice wide staircase to make moving in very easy. This is on the east side of the house, so it'll provide shade in the summer evenings. Or it'll warm you up in the cooler winter months. Looking down over the patio, you'll see here a hose uh, bib. This hose bib is untreated water or raw water, so you can use that to water your, if you had a, a flower bed or garden, something like that up here on this level. And then additional deck space off here to the side. And believe it or not, there is, uh, the owner had considered putting a patio up on the roof which would give you some fantastic views above all the other neighbors. <clears throat> Here's a view of the yard, which again, if you look down to the left, could be split and shared with the front unit. To the right, we have the storage shed. It's about a 10 by 12. It's on a cement slab, steel siding. Not that old, I think 2016 that was built or added to the property. We've got lots of parking in the back for probably three or four vehicles. A view down onto the patio, as well as the two-car garage. The garage is currently set up with one of the doors blocked off, but you could easily convert that back into two separate 